This is video number five on how to take your Honda GXV160 apart. Okay, the next thing I want to do, the last thing we did was remove the coil pack. Um, that was one of the last things I did in the last video. This video, I want to remove the cylinder head. Now I went through and already loosened these bolts. These head bolts are kind of tight. And if you look, you got four bolts to hold your head on. One, two, three, four. You need a 12 millimeter socket. Now when I did this, I took my ratchet and an extension, my 3 8 drive extension, and I kind of just held down my hand like this, holding down to break those free. Um, your engine is not mounted to here, to this base for a reason. And you'll see here in a little bit. Okay, I went ahead and took all four cylinder head bolts loose. Take all four of these out. They're all the same size. They're all the same length. Okay. Okay. I remove it slowly so I may make sure I don't damage anything. Okay. This right here, this area right here, this is called your combustion chamber. Has anybody ever heard of a Dodge Hemi? Oh, it's got a Hemi in it. What it means is the shape of the combustion chamber, the shape of the head, is, it's in a hemispherical shape. And it's supposed to give you a little more airflow and power and stuff like that. And that's why everybody likes to have a Hemi. Um, this is more of a wedge shape one. Uh, there's different types and designs of combustion chambers. But this, right, this part right here is your combustion chamber. Your spark plug goes right here. And if you look on your valve, this one right here says IN, and this one right here says EX, so intake and exhaust. But if, let's say they weren't on there, how could you tell? Well, if you look, this is where your carburetor was mounted to. And if you look at the flow of the, the tubing, how, how this thing's made, it goes right to this valve. This valve is this one right here. That's your intake. So your air fuel mixture enters through here. This valve opens at a certain time, drops that air fuel mixture in there, and then it closes. Then you have, and that's called the intake stroke. Okay? Then the next stroke is the compression stroke. The piston's coming up. It's coming up in the cylinder and it's compressing that air fuel mixture. And then at a certain time, the spark plug ignites a spark. And for lack of a better term, it makes a, an explosion in your engine and it forces that piston back down. Then when it comes up, the exhaust valve opens up and it comes out your exhaust vent. So, your four strokes are intake, compression, power, exhaust. Okay? Intake, compression, power, and exhaust. All right. Now, on a car, you need to have one of two things. Uh, the best tool to use is a valve spring compressor tool. And what it is, is just basically kind of like a, C a special C clamp that fits over this and it compresses the valve spring. But on these little engines, I can actually go like this. I'm holding the bottom. I'm holding my finger right here on the bottom of the valve. Okay, two fingers there. I take my two fingers here. And I just kind of push and move over. Okay. Take this piece off. Take this piece off. This is right here. It's called your valve spring. Okay. This is your valve spring. This right here, this right here would be considered your keeper. All right. Now I'm going to push the valve stem right here and look it comes right out okay so this is your valve face right here this is your valve stem and this right here is your keeper grooves this is kind of similar to an automotive but it's still pretty different uh, what happens a lot when especially the engines a lot of high miles on getting higher mileage you get carbon deposits to build up right here Okay, and then that affects your air fuel mixture 
It can make your vehicle run not so great. Um, but typically in the automotive industry, unless you're working in a machine shop, you probably won't be messing too much with replacing valves anymore. It used to be a common thing that everybody used to do, uh, but anymore, you don't do this too much. All right, so to put this back in, take your intake valve, we're gonna put it back in, put it up here. I'm holding the bottom with my finger. And boom, I put it back in there. You can do the same thing with the exhaust valve if you would like. So that's your intake valve, exhaust valve. This is your combustion chamber. All right, I'm gonna take the cylinder head and I'm gonna place it gently over here. Now I'm going to tilt my engine and you guys may have engines that have a little bit of oil in them. So you got to make sure you get some paper towels or some cardboard or something if they, in case anything leaks out. They get assembled with oil in them. All right, you're going to take your, you take your 12 millimeters off here. Oh, that just reminded me. So this cylinder head gasket, uh, you don't reuse these in a normal rebuilding procedure. If you ever take a, a head off of a vehicle, never reuse your, your intake, I mean your cylinder head gasket because it crushes and then it doesn't spring back. And I want to show you something real quick. So if you look, when this crankshaft turns, you can see that piston going up and down, up and down. Okay? All right, let's take this old pan bolts off. Four, five, should be six bolts, okay? And, and you need a 12 millimeter socket to do this. We'll put those over here. And I'm also, one thing I did beforehand was I took some fingernail polish and I paint it right here just to make it easier to install. You don't have to do that. You can take a permanent marker and put on there, white out, whatever, and you don't have to do that. It just makes it, for, I think it's just easier for me to get the install. And now, there we go. All right, pull this off, okay? And this would be considered, I guess, your oil pan on this vehicle, or on this engine. All right. If you look, this is what's going on inside your engine. When that piston's going up and down, you got these gears turning. Okay? And if you look real closely, you'll see some marks on these right there. So you got the yellow mark and that yellow dot right there. Oh, you guys can see it. There's a yellow mark here and there's a dot right there that's stamped into the uh, gear. Those are timing marks. So when you put this thing together, you got to line those marks back up. That should be top dead center compression stroke or TDC. So look, this is top dead center. The piston is. When it gets to the bottom of its stroke, that's BDC, bottom dead center, okay? I'm being careful not to mess this gasket up because we're going to try to reuse that. All right, we're going to have to stop here because it takes a special puller to pull this uh, clutch off of here, and I don't have that many special pullers. So we have to take that off, and then you'd have to disassemble it from there. But we're going to have to stop here with this series of videos. And I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to contact me. Thank you very much.